The garage door motor burned up a few days ago, so I can't raise the garage, at least not automatically. And this morning, Olympic Garage Doors is coming to replace it. But I need to get the Model A out before he gets here. Oh, I got the bungees I gotta undo first. First, I need to open up the garage door. Yeah, I'm gonna have to disconnect it up here. Get her started. Slowly changing the spark. Brian's here from Olympic Garage Door, and he's going to replace this old Stanley garage door opener that burned up the other day. That's why I had to get the Model A out of the garage. And that was fun to do anyway. What's up, Chato? Someone's strange here, so that gets her excited. Look at that move up your your doors every six um, months every six months yeah okay. every six months go ahead and just like a spray across this okay um and then roll your door up and down a couple times and it'll lubricate the rest of it and then all your hinges this is the new yeah. unit all every in the box six months, right yeah all right i'll write your notes down down she comes <sighs> So long, Stanley. And where does that go? Oh, uh, we take it to the recycling center. Uh, you're getting a, a an upgraded uh, opener. Oh, okay. Uh, you're getting one with LED lights already installed. Oh, fantastic. They're not, they're not bulbs. They're actually like an LED panel. Oh, great. Um, yeah, a lot nicer. Super. Right. Super bright. Okay, so I'll have two spare bulbs for other things that burn yeah, exactly, out. Yeah. <laughs> One of the first things we did in this old house was replace all the bulbs with LEDs. We'll get to jobs, and the way that they uh, they ship it to us is, it's, you know, it's all packaged in, um, in uh, cardboard. And uh, a lot of times we won't know that that uh, section is damaged until we get there and we open up the box, but yeah. we always make it right. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, everything's pre-packaged and you, it's destructive to take it apart to look at it. So, you, But that's not the case with windows. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the piles of stuff here in the oh, corners. You know, that's what garages are for, right? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be nice to have that uh, sensor is that an LED sensor? It's just, it's, um, just a, it is an LED little light. Uh, and so when you uh, pass through it, that's what triggers it, huh? Yeah. Now, if you open up the garage part way mm -hmm. and you stop it, like we do to let our cat come in and out at will, yeah. will it, the little LED tripper won't be active 
It, it still will be, but it's only um, it's only when the door is in operation. Oh, okay. Um, so if you stop it, if you like start opening it and stop it like right here. Yeah. Um, it'll be fine, but if you're trying to shut it and there's something blocking your photo eyes, got it. it okay. It'll, it'll start to go down, and it'll retract up, and then your lights will blink. Okay, so as long as uh, we have it shut off or it just stopped at a certain height, that won't trigger it and right. go. I'd hate to have all of a sudden in the middle of the night have the garage door open right, up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> garage doors um we are sister companies and uh i was working there for a little over a year and a half and the boss um so there's travis which is the manager of me up here he's a half half owner oh, okay um he uh the boss over at kitsap was like hey uh would you be willing to you know, go work up at Olympic garage doors for, you know, a little bit. I'm like, yeah, sure. And then it turned into, would you be willing to relocate up there? <laughs> I was like, uh, I guess we're not, you know, I don't have any kids, I don't have a wife or anything, you know. I'm like, yeah, sure. So I just moved up here in March of last year. Wow. And, uh, yeah. Going, going pretty well. I love it up here. It's so beautiful. Oh man, it sure is. Oh, I see. It helps you lift it up, huh? Well, the, the way that they, they taught me up here to do it, I'm not a fan of, um, especially since I, I say I got T-Rex arms. Yeah, you know? yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, I'd say yeah. so. <laughs> so like, the way that they told, taught us to do it is put the motor together and bring it up over the door. And then as the door is up like this, you try to fit your arms between here and try and get the pin and... Uh. Just, it just doesn't work very well for me. <laughs> so yeah. I do it another way. Okay. <laughs> Is there anything on the actual opener that I need to do maintenance on? No. I see there's a little bit of grease there, but that's... Yeah, it just keeps the uh, belt from squealing and okay. keeps it uh, conditioned, I guess. So you don't want to put any uh, lubricant on the belt itself, do you? No. Okay, it's rubber. Yeah. Like it. Uh, these really don't need need much maintenance. They've got a uh, five year uh, warranty. I'm guessing that's the backup battery. Yeah. Lithium ion. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. If your power goes out, you'll still be able to open and close the door. Fantastic. With your uh, hand control, with your uh, wall button. And it has Wi-Fi? Yes, it's Wi-Fi ca uh, capable. Um, so as long as you have Wi-Fi service here at your house, um, you could be in Seattle and say a neighbor needs to get into your garage. You can go on your phone, open the door huh. from your phone. You can close the door from your phone. Say you go on vacation. And you're like, did we shut the garage door? I can't remember. You can go on your phone and it'll tell you if it's Check open. Check it out. You can set it up to where it'll send you alerts. So if it's being opened, it'll uh, send you an alert saying, hey, your door's being opened. That's great. So you can download an app for this? Yeah, so it's called the MyQ app. Okay. It's, uh, it's actually on that pamphlet right by your toolbox. Okay. That will be very useful. Uh, he's lived in Washington his whole life. Brian's gonna put the remote control right here, a little bit lower. 
where it was just kind of high yeah. there. So this will be more friendly for our use. All righty, that looks good. Stringing the wires here that are going to control the garage door opener. Oh, that's cool. Check that out. It works. <laughs> so did you devise this uh, tripod method yourself? Uh, no, actually that's how I learned in California. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's how they, uh, they were teaching me down there, which I, I like it a lot better. <laughs> yeah. yeah, eyeball it as you determine how high to hang it? Yeah, exactly. Awesome. You got the magnetic stud fighter there. Yeah, yeah, I, I like that thing. I've actually bought a few stud finders and they just- They don't really work. No, they don't. I've uh, <laughs> I've bought two of the $50 ones and after they weren't working on for me <laughs> and getting me irritated, yeah, <laughs> kind of took a hammer to them. <laughs> and then <laughs> bought this guy for like, what, like $12 or something, and it's way better than that. I have one just like that for the same reason. <laughs> just hanging pictures on the wall. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not garage door openers. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Are there lock washers on those? They're, uh, yeah, they're, uh, the flange. Yeah, okay. The flange nuts. Oh, okay, flange nuts. Yeah, okay. So they... That's a much more attractive support for the crash door opener <laughs> than those silly straps. I know, right? Okay. That's why you came early, huh? <clears throat> that actually worked out well because then it caused me to uh, have to start the Model A, which I wanted to do in the cold for some time. Oh, okay.
Like any engine, it behaves differently when you try to start it when it's below freezing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Brian, how many doors have you installed? Any idea? Oh, I could not tell you an exact amount. Hundreds. Hundreds. Mostly in California. Yeah, majority of them in California. Do they use different doors and technology door openers? They uh, they mm -hmm. use well the company that I work with. They use uh, genie openers. Oh okay. Which I do not like. Yeah. Uh, and they use uh, Wayne Dalton uh, doors, which uh, I, I'm not a fan of them. But they do make some nice doors. And then Marathon. Now this old home built in the late 70s is two by four construction because that was okay by code here right, in Washington State. Yeah. But now it's two by six. Right. I don't know what the code is in California, is it? Uh, two by four. Yeah, I, I figured. <clears throat> But here, I could we couldn't add on to the house because the uh, the main structure is two by four, and any addition it'd have to be two by six. So, oh. see what I mean? And so, if you wanted to raise it up, forget it. Mm -hmm. It would be too costly. Now, here's an interesting question: Have you ever heard of a, a garage door opener on Wi-Fi being hacked? Um, <laughs> I haven't heard of a, a door being hacked. I have heard of a couple customers a couple years ago um, when I was working at Kitsap. Um, they're like, yeah, we wake up in the middle of the night and our garage door is wide open. And come to find out, it was from the uh, airport. Some of the uh, oh, radio transmission waves or, or something like that was activating their, huh. their opener. So the frequency happened to be... Yeah. Well, that's weird. Are you able to change the frequency? Uh, like you could change a little Yeah, they, they ended up getting a new opener. Here we go, first time. Some precision adjustments here. Setting the open and close distance. Those are nice bright lights. Yeah, they're super bright. Wow. Can you manually turn them on just if you want to be in the garage? Yeah, you got a little uh, light button over here on your wall. Okay. On your wall button. So as soon as you walk out in the garage, it'll sense motion. It'll turn your garage door lights on for four and a half minutes. And then if you want to turn them on and off manually. Oh, perfect. You just turn them on and off as you wish. And it switches between time and temperature. I'll set the time in a minute. So yeah, there's temperature and then it'll switch to time. You got your battery okay. icon right here. Okay. And uh, that's showing that your battery in your opener is charging. Um, if you lose power, you'll be able to open and close this door 10 cycles. One cycle is up and down. Um, say you use all the battery juice, it will uh, it take 24 to 36 hours for it to fully charge up when power comes back on. Okay. The same stuff that you got. Oh, okay. Just a heavy duty garage door lube. Just a bigger bottle. And yeah, a can. bigger bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. And it's, okay. it's actually from our company. Oh, okay. uh, our sister company, Kits Up Garage Doors. Now, can I get that like at uh, Home Depot or? Any? Yeah, any any hardware store. You, you okay. Can you did that, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it wasn't Sticking from the, the airport. <laughs> no, <laughs> it wasn't a phantom opening. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, every six months, yeah, just grab some lube. Okay. And all of your. <laughs> that was me because I bent over it. Yeah. yeah, right now the photo eye. Oh, the photo eye. Yeah. Was doing what it's supposed to. <laughs> well, valid test. Oh, 
hinges of the door. Get lubricated. Ideally every six months. Hey, Shadow. You're Hello. checking things out? What's new in? Making sure I'm doing a good job. Yeah. <laughs> Looks great. Power's out. You've used all the battery backup juice. If you just simply pull straight down, it'll disconnect the, the door oh, okay. from the opener and you can run it manually. Now, if you pull down and back on the cord, you'll see how this spring is expanded. Yeah. So now the door and the motor will never connect. Oh, okay. So a lot of people, they'll, they'll pull on the cord and they'll pull it down and back and then they're like, it won't connect anymore. Uh, if you run into that, if you run into that situation, just pull it towards the door. Oh, okay. And you see how that spring compresses? Yep. And now, they'll connect. You can either pull straight down on that, you can either push the door up okay. or hit the hand control. Oh, okay. And it'll connect itself. Got it, okay. Well, I hope never to use that, but now I have it documented <laughs> if I do. And we're programming the time. Done. So now it switches between temperature and time. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Now, does the app give you that information too? Yes, sir. <laughs> Testing out the remote. And then you get a second one here for $45? Uh, $40. $40, okay. Oops, I hit it accidentally. That's all right. What do you think, Shadow? Are you happy with this? And so it's got a couple of safety features on it, like they were showing you earlier. Let me see the remote. Okay. So uh, if you're closing the <clears> door and something walks in front of these uh, sensors, the door will retract. Okay. All right. Um, it's got another one. So say you have something sitting here that's not affecting the photo eyes. And you go to push the door down, and it'll just put, I think, I think it's four pounds of pressure. And then it'll retract a, right about. Oh, okay. And then once it does, your lights will blink when you're um, when you like when you're closing it, and something crosses the photo eye. It'll blink. It'll go back up, and then your lights will blink like that. That's to. That's just self telling you like something's either exactly. in the way of the photo eye, okay. or it simply got hit, and it's just misaligned. Oh. Okay. So just make sure you get this green light oh, okay. back, right and good. and you're good to go. All right. And there's one on each side, right? Yes, there's so, a green light over here and there's a yellow light over here. The yellow light is the sending light, ah. the green light is the receiving light. Okay, so they have to be lined up enough to communicate. To communicate with each other, yeah. Because yeah. if it's not, so for example, like I'm gonna misalign this one, so it's not working properly. Right. And if I go to try to, it's not gonna do anything, it's just gonna blink. Oh, okay. And it's saying, hey, your photo eyes are, you know, something's up with your photo eyes. So just come back here, make sure you get this green light, and you're good to go. If you block it, see how it goes out? Okay. Oh yeah. So it, it it also tells you what's if it's working or not. Yeah. All done.